Hi everyone, in this video we'll see some benchmark about uh, stable diffusion and LAMA CPP on AMD uh, CPU, GPU. And uh, this is a very uh, difficult topic because uh, AMD uh, isn't very supported by uh, these uh, technologies. Uh, but uh, we can have uh, already interesting uh, results if you have uh, the correct uh, setup. So this is the first test. This is uh, a stable diffusion CPU. And uh, as you can see, uh, this is a, a normal test with uh, stable diffusion SDXL. So it's uh, the latest one, the most uh, powerful. And uh, this test is uh, a Bedouin riding a white bear in the desert, high quality. And uh, this is uh, the result. And uh, it took uh, uh, 7 minutes and 30 seconds with uh, the CPU. And uh, this is uh, the video running uh, this computation. I, I can't do at the same time the uh, rendering and the recording. But uh, yeah, it's interesting to see the uh, process. And uh, yeah, it's about uh, 21 seconds per iteration. And uh, I'm using uh, an uh, APU. So it uh, isn't a dedicated uh, AMD uh, GPU, it's an uh, integrated one, but uh, it works uh, quite well. It just needs a lot of RAM to, to work, but uh, it works. And uh, as you can see, when uh, it isn't swapping, uh, you see all the CPU uh, yellow. And uh, when uh, it is uh, swapping, uh, you see the uh, pink color in the stats. So, okay. And uh, here we have the final result as you saw before. So this was the um, CPU version. I also tried uh, a G um, GPU version with uh, Rockem, but uh, it is uh, very complicated. And uh, I did uh, the same test, but with uh, a lower resolution for the images. And uh, this is uh, the same test, but uh, with uh, uh, Rockem and uh, SD um, Stable Diffusion 1.5. So this is the same, te the same test, but uh, uh, with uh, 512 uh, and not 1024. And uh, with the stable diffusion, it took uh, one minute and five seconds, about six, sec six uh, seconds. With the SDXL, uh, one minute and 30 seconds. But the quality of the SD Excel is uh, much better, especially with the higher resolutions. And uh, this is uh, the same test with uh, um, Rockem, but uh, you have to specify, um, you, you can't use the latest uh, PyTorch, you have to use uh, an older version which is uh, supported by Rockem. And uh, at least with my uh, integrated GPU, the, uh, the time to generate the image, uh, it isn't uh, better. So it's uh, 1 minute 29 seconds. But uh, so it, uh, Rockem is worse than CPU with my uh, AMD card, which is a Ryzen 7. Uh, 7700 and uh, also the quality honestly I prefer uh, the quality from uh, uh, the latest uh, PyTorch I don't know if uh, that is the reason but uh, 
with the older PyTorch, which is supported by Eurocam, the quality isn't uh, as good as the newer version. And uh, a similar situation is with the Lama CPP, so the um, large language model that you can run on your computer. And uh, now you can also use it with the Rockem support uh, after this uh, pull request. And uh, so now you have three ways to run this project. You can use the CPU, which is the default version and it works fine for me. And uh, then you have Rockem, which is the newer one. It, it is useful if you have uh, um, VRAM in your AMD card or you can use uh, uh, CL Blast, okay. So by default uh, it is uh, uh, CPU, but uh, you can uh, enable the, this, uh, the uh, OpenCL support with the Lama CL Blast. This is uh, uh, Lama with uh, uh, OpenCL or you can run Llama with Rockm. I, I tried uh, all the ways and uh, with Rockm is uh, this one, Llama Ip Blast 1. And uh, also here I didn't notice uh, a much uh, difference with my setup, but probably if you have a dedicated GPU, you will have different uh, results. And uh, here is the, the test. So this is the most powerful uh, version which is uh, uh, Lama 70B. And with the uh, Lama uh, 70B, I can reach uh, uh, one token and three about uh, per second. And uh, with the lower models, I can run Lama CPP much faster. So uh, this, this uh, recording is uh, about uh, two token and five per second and it's a 30B model and with the 70B uh, model I can do about uh, one token and three per, per second. So it's lower but uh, it is uh, on a CPU so you have uh, uh, a lesser energy consumption and uh, if you want to have uh, a, a faster uh, version you can use uh, a, a smaller model and uh, of course uh, uh, this computer isn't the best uh, to, to run uh, artificial intelligence but uh, if you have uh, something like uh, 48 gigabyte of RAM you can uh, do something so it's uh, interesting uh, in this way. Um, a very important thing is that uh, on the official uh, AMD uh, website uh, you have the instruction about the supported Linux distributions and uh, I recommend to use uh, a supported one because uh, otherwise it's very complicated. There are some Docker files that you can use uh, this Linux distro, even if they aren't your main operating system. But uh, the most important uh, information are here on salsa.debian.org, where you can check if your AMD card is really supported by uh, Rockem. So uh, you can check here and uh, it's, uh, it's not obvious to find the internal code to, to uh, define uh, your card. But as you can see, 
not every card is supported and you have to run this command after installing Rockem Info to, to know uh, the exact uh, version that you can use because you also have to specify your card sometimes because uh, uh, some parts are still experimental. Yeah, this is my review of uh, artificial intelligence on uh, AMD CPU GPUs. Let me know in the comment uh, in the comments if you have uh, better version, better results with uh, Rockem enable or not. Because with the uh, APUs, I think that uh, you won't have uh, special benefits to, to use Rockem. Mm, CPU is uh, just fine in many situations. That's it. I hope you found this video useful and see you in another one. Bye.